All right, all right. Welcome back to Kennedy 365. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys can hear me because I'm using my other laptop and a lot of the volume and the audio is always bad on this one, but I'm trying to show you my Marjax. Um, the reason why I'm not using my laptop because I don't do any financial things on the other laptop. It's just strictly for um, social media and my videos. So nothing financial is on that laptop. So um, and I do it that way on purpose, right? So, um, but, but this laptop, so I have to use this um, audio. So hopefully the audio comes in good. Um, okay, um, and if it doesn't, uh, you won't hear this video. But as you can see, I'm on Marjax. So a lot of you guys are wondering about Marjax. Man, Bitcoin is kind of going down right now on Marjax. It's still up though on a day, one uh, the, uh, per one per one point uh, one eight percent right now. But wow, Bitcoin dropping. Right now. now, this is the one minute chart, so it looks more it looks more bad or worse than it than it actually is. You know, what I mean, when you see something dropping on a one minute chart, you got to realize it's on it's a one minute chart. And if you scale out, it's not it doesn't even look bad at all. You know, what I mean, so it could look kind of dramatic on a one minute chart, uh, you know, so you just realize that. But either way, this is how it looks. Marjax and um, and uh, yeah, so you can play with as little as. I don't know, 50 cents, maybe $1, you know what I mean? And you can do 100x leverage on there. You can do, uh, you don't have to play with much money at all. And you can build your account up slow and steady, or you can build it fast, right? I, I think the people that put a lot of money in, in, in type of stuff like this, they lose it all. But the people who put money, like, you know, a couple of dollars in this thing, a dollar, two, three, five dollars, twenty dollars, and you spread it out, you, you can make a, you can make a decent amount of money. Okay, um, don't come in here with like six thousand dollars and think you're gonna uh, become a millionaire overnight. It usually, usually doesn't happen. You usually will get liquidated. Um, you know what I mean? So unless you make the perfect trade, right? And there's usually no such thing. But there, I mean, that does happen. It does happen. But a lot of times when we want something to go one way, it, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen or go sideways or or some some bad news will happen and it breaks the other way. So you have to get lucky on that. Um, uh, but anyways, here we are. And uh, you can see there's a limit orders and limit orders are way better than anything else. Right. You got limit orders. You got you got um, this where you set the order price and you get in where you want to get in. Right. And you get in where you want to where you fit in. And then you got market which the market um, dictates the price for you, which is awful because you get the worst price. Um, you know, the market makers will give you the worst price. And then you got um, stop market, right? And what is the stop market? It's the, uh, the trade system will send a market order when a current price reaches a trigger price. Traders use this type of orders for close their position in case of losses. Okay. So you don't need that one. So you just focus on these two when you sign up, uh, if you're signing up. And um, and then uh, you can fund your account very easily, right, with XRP or whatever, whatever um, uh, you know, uh, cryptos they have. So you can at least see the collateral here. You can fund it with all of these, Arbitron and, and uh, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Avalanche. They have you know, whatever you have here, you can fund your account. And then what happens is you'll, you'll then end up doing leverage right so you can do zero percent leverage you don't have to actually do leverage you can do zero percent right um actually no that's not leverage that's that's the uh that's the um order size this is a level you're gonna this is a leverage platform so you're gonna have to do at least five percent leverage right so so every every trade is gonna have to have a leverage on it okay so um but um but you can do really small leverage you can do 5x leverage which is nothing right so or you can do 100x leverage on bitcoin um there's only a few tokens that you can do 100x leverage on which is bitcoin uh and then you can here's here's how you pick your your tokens and you can see the leverage position here 100x 100x for eth and then Do dogecoin is 25x and then you got some other coins here um and then you got Casper 25x, XRP is 50x, Litecoin, and it goes all in that. I think uh, BNB is 100x as well. So there's not many 100x's. I think there's three, and the rest of them are 50x or 25x, which is still good. Um, and majority of the time I place, I I I, I play with Solana. Um, and um, but either way, um, I and you can see you can see your orders here. I have some very small orders in. 
And if you click there, it will, it will pop up. So all you got to do is click this box here and it'll pop it up to, to see your orders completely, right? So I got four orders in right now. And you can see that they're all in the green right now. And they're up, you know, I mean, if I had put more money into this, I would be up a lot right now. I mean, I got one position up 132%, another position up 137%. But I didn't put much. I don't. I don't put. I didn't put nothing in this stuff. Look, you know the the uh, 41 bucks, right? So, and that's borrowed money. Most of that is borrowed money, right? Because it's a uh, 50x. So <laughs> most of that money is borrowed. You know, you got 100x leverage here at at 220 dollars. So most of that money is borrowed as well, right? Okay. Um, and, uh, and so you got uh, $14, I mean, at a 25 X, like, what did I put in there? 10 cents? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, and then, uh, and you got 14 X at a 50 X leverage. Right. And so, and, and you see this realize, um, realize P and L is, is the, um, trading fees. Okay. So there's a trading fee for a buy and then there's trading fees for a sell. So. Now you don't know what 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 the sell um the the only problem with Marjex is you don't know what the sell um fees are going to be because we don't know how active the blockchains are for for Solana well, Solana blockchain was down but you don't know what you don't know what the the um sell fees are okay so just because your fee is one cent okay um just because your fee is one cent here on when you bought it doesn't mean that your fee is going to be one cent when you sell it it might be two cents. Okay, so that's the, that, and that's what tricked me the first time I was on margin. I was like, dog, I, I just made money on this thing, and how did I lose money, right? So how did I not make? I won that trade, but but when I won the trade, it was like, okay, you, I had to pay. You had to pay. Unrealized gain was you know a dollar fourteen, and then and then unrealized sell was probably like two two fifteen two dollars or three dollars. You know, you don't even know. Right, and especially I was doing market sales, so that's even worse because you get a worse you get a worse sell price, and then your fees are probably even higher because you did a market, right? So, so that's how I didn't make I wasn't making too much money um, when I first started. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Well, number one, I was doing market buys and market sales, and then number two, I, I wasn't considering that there's um, fees on the sell side. Right, so you can see the fees on the buy side, but you can't see the the fees on the sell side. So you have to calculate that in too. So, okay, so this this um this one is up. You know, it's like I'm up two dollars and 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 seventy five, but you see it's thirty three cents here. Now, who's gonna who says that it's not a dollar when I have to when on the on the fee side when I sell it, which is a dollar thirty three, and then I don't make anything on this trade, right? So you know what I mean. I gotta take a dollar thirty three out of two seventy five two seventy two. I don't really make much money, so you know what I mean. So you want to make sure that you're up a lot more than you think, right? So let's say you know, um, you know your your fee your fee was fifty cents and and you you're up ten dollars. You're you're good, right? Because maybe the sell fee is seventy five cents and you're still gonna make about nine dollars. Okay, um, so make sure that you're you're not close because if you are you're just gonna break even most likely or or just be up like 50 cents or 75 cents it's not you're not gonna be up much right so i'm, I'm trying to let these go uh, we had bitcoin with an inverse head and shoulders on patreon so if we can get this 49,000, as you can see here and you can also um put your um your uh outs your take profit and your stop losses right so you all you gotta do is click here and it'll pop up okay so you click on it and it'll pop up and then you can put your orders in. You can and it'll also show you the percentage. That's fifteen hundred percent if it gets to forty nine thousand, right? So you can see I got a I got an order in here for Solana at two fifty, right? That's the all time high for Solana. And if that happens, how much that's an eight thousand that eighty eight thousand plus percent move, right? Um on, on chump chains that I have, right? But it's hey, it's still still some money, right? So um and then you got, and then I got an order here for Dogecoin to one dollar, right? And it's at seven cents, and that's probably yeah twenty nine thousand percent move, okay? And then you have, um, and of course I can take profits at any time. I can adjust that, and and uh, and take profits at any time. Like if, the, if let's say all these are up to like ten dollars tomorrow, right? And then I can just go back in here and just take profit, or I could just close it out here.
right? So you can click here and then you can close out with a market sell or a lower limit sell, okay? And you can just close it out yourself regardless of this. Or you could just, or you could adjust this and, and close it out that way. And you could also put, let's click on the 15 and that's 100, look at that, 100, 100 XRP to $15 is 144,000%, okay? So, um, all right, so let's see here. So you can also do stop losses. And all you got to do is click on it. I'm clicking on it and I can't get it for some reason. So that doesn't work. There you go. Okay. So that, that thing was in the way, right? So you click on it. You can put your stop losses in. So now that I'm up, now that I'm in profit, if you want to put a stop loss in, you can. The problem with stop losses is that the market makers seek out these stop losses and they use them for liquidity, right? They'll see you put a stop loss. Let's say Bitcoin is here. They'll see you put a stop loss at at 43,000, they'll they will purposely go down to 43,000 to get your and then get you out and use that money as as liquidity, right? So that's one thing about stop losses that I don't like is that they like to hunt hunt for stop losses. Okay, so I'd rather be liquidated. If I'm gonna be playing with five bucks, I just lose the five bucks. You know what I mean? They put a stop loss in, you know, like it's just ridiculous. So, so I've learned that I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to put stop losses in when if I'm playing with 10, 15, 20 bucks, five bucks, this is no point, right? The liquidation price is really, is, is, is really a long way to go. So I'd rather take the chance on being liquidated than, than a stop loss, right? I mean, it's because they just hunt stop losses. I remember I had like four stop losses in, and they literally went and hunted all of my stop losses and then they, and then they went up and then, and then, and then it went up. Right, and then and they use it as as liquidity, and then they shot the price. They shot Solana to the upside again without me, and I was like, "What the freak?" I'm waking up thinking I'm in the money, and I real and I wake up and I'm like, "Yo, they went down and got my stop losses out, and they got me out, and then they use my money as liquid as, as liquidity, and they pump Solana back to the upside without me. That sucks, man. You know, so um, so it is what it is. I like I like trading solana on here you guys can do dot dogecoin or xrp or bitcoin or anything as you know ethereum the fees on ethereum are a little bit high um for the for this uh, i mean of course if you're playing with like five bucks and it's not probably that bad but um but it is what it is right so anyway so you can see these things are up man so if we just if, if i had put way more money in this then i uh, if i put ten thousand in this i on this one i'd be up ten thousand plus right so you know what i mean i'm up 124 Right, so I would be up ten thousand. Right, but the problem is, is that every when you try to do that, it's always at the wrong time, and you're always and most people are ninety nine percent of people are losing that ten thousand and not winning that ten thousand. And when you play with the five, ten, fifteen dollars, you're just playing freely, and you, and so you usually get the better timing and the better price. And you know, you, know, you always get in at the right times when you're playing with less money because you're not overthinking it. Okay, so because some people, I know, because some of you guys are gonna say, well. Currency just going with ten thousand, and you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, man, you know, losing lose ten thousand because you're going at the wrong time because you're overthinking, right? So when when you're playing with five, ten, fifteen bucks, it's a lot easier to to make money on here um, than they're going with the big one. And plus, the the, the realize that the fees that they take is outrageous for for uh, if you're playing with that big of a money. I mean, they could ten thousand could be a you could have a fee of like uh, of like I don't know eighty bucks. You know, like you could have, you can literally have a fee of like eighty bucks on the on the buy side, and then you and then what what's your sell side uh, fee could be a hundred and fifty bucks. You know, that means that you at least have to make you know over that much to break even. You know, so that means you're already in a big loss. You know, uh, just off the fees alone, right? So you you need to make at least a thousand dollars. To, you know, and then the, then the fees come out. Then you maybe take home seven hundred as a as as a profit, right? So, um, so yeah. So if you're gonna play bigger amounts, you gotta understand that the fees are gonna be crazy, and um, and you gotta you gotta make way more money. Okay, so um, I I think I think um, so don't if you're gonna go in big, don't don't go in big when the markets are just blah. Go in big when you know a big breakout is coming to the upside or downside, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, go in big when the Bollinger Bands are tightened and they're about to break one way or the other, right? So, um, and, and this is an example. Like right here, 
right? When, when it breaks this way, you go short and you, you, you short it down this way and you go all the way down with 10,000 and then you get out here, right? You don't go 10,000, get out here. You're probably still in the loss, right? Because of the fees, right? So you're, you're up maybe 300, 500 bucks here. But the problem is, is that you got the fees are crazy, right? So you want, you got to go all the way down here and now you're up maybe $2,000 on this move to the downside right and then and then the fees are 300 bucks but you're up 2000 so you you take home like 1600 right so that's how you would have to do it right you you, you know so you got to think differently when you play with bigger money so i have some i have um you know one xrp in here you know and um you can see a buy, uh, uh, you know, the, the the buy signal came in there. It's not really a buy signal, but the MACD line went to a buy. Um, that doesn't mean that it's, it's guaranteeing to go up, though. As you can see, it already did go up, so it's a lagging indicator, right? So it's a lagging indicator. Um, but this is a bullish reversal here, right? So you got the red, and then you have the the the, uh, the wick with the candle, long wick with the candle, and then you have the green. So you, you got the uh, red green there, but you have the reversal if you see this at the top that is a sell signal right so at the bottom it's a bullish reversal on a on a downward trend here and so now you're start trying to see a v-shaped recovery here um so you could you could play it the way you do on i mean you can you can view it and chart it the way you do on um on trading on trading views and dex tools but you're playing with margin you know with, with uh this is this is incorrect by the way if you try to do this that's incorrect either because you, you're doing a candle right so a candle uh well actually you can do candle you can do candle on candle so that's actually correct okay i, I thought that was a wick there okay I, I thought i was looking at this one so yeah you do candle to candle that's fine so candle to candle right there that's good so that that's 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 correct right there okay so you can be like okay well if it doesn't break through this and i keep going short right so you can do you can do whatever you want on here man it's pretty cool and you can um you can have your uh, trading views open. You can have your um, Dex tools open. And you can be looking at those plays on there, and then you can chart it on here as well. And 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 watch my videos, and you can see okay which way is this thing gonna go. Is Bitcoin head and shoulder? Now I'm on the minute chart, so it's a little bit it's kind of skewed there. But you can be on the daily chart and look at the cup and handle pattern, or the inverse head and shoulders, and all the other stuff that's going on, right? And and then you can make your plays from that, right? And you can watch for the breakthroughs or breakouts from there. Okay, um, so I'm going to stay in these longs. Uh, if I get liquid in all four of them, who cares? Um, I think the total price is like seven bucks. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, but um, I want to show them. I got I to gotta click here because it's four of them. Uh, I keep forgetting that. All right, so you can see there. But anyway, so let's, let, me, let me add something. Since I have some money, let's do something because somebody's like, well, how do you actually do it? Okay, so let's let's go and let's go and do one. Uh, I always avoid market, so I always go with limit. So that's where I go. And then you can you can um, you see a hundred percent of it. So I'm going to use all hundred percent of the XRP, and I'm going to do a um, a hundred X. So that means I'm borrowing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm borrowing money here, right? For leverage, you're borrowing, right? So um, you borrowing are you borrowing other people's money, right? So um, and then a hundred X leverage. That's for Bitcoin now. If you don't believe, if you think Bitcoin is going to the downside, then, um, you know, then you go short, right? So then you go short, you know? So if you guys have never shorted, that's what it means, right? It's to, so you, if you had bought here, you would have been, did, a, did a short here and you would have made some money, right? To the downside, right? So a lot of you guys have never shorted before the markets and this is your chance to short with leverage. So it's pretty fun. It's pretty awesome to, to, to make money when the markets are going down as well, right? So, so not, because a lot of you guys are like, I only make money when the market goes up, right? But yeah, but you can short and make money on the way down as well. Okay. So if I'm looking at this play here, you can see that it wants it, it's, it's trying to go to the upside, but any but because of leverage, anything can change at any time. Because somebody can come in with fourteen thousand dollars to to the short side and really crush this at any moment. So it's a little bit different, and I'm playing the one minute chart here, so it's really hard to predict which way this is going to go. But since we're here and we got nothing else to do, let's just go long here. And uh, I don't even know if that's even going to trigger. Uh, did it? Yeah, it did trigger actually. Okay, I got a uh, okay. So I'm sitting right there. So it's popping to the upside, and you can see it was a three cents. So here's your here's your. And if you can't really see it, you just click on here. Okay, so then you can see it right at the top. So this was the order. This was the trade. 
you see the um it was 1.087 xrp 100x leverage on bitcoin right because bitcoin's 100x leverage right so 55 dollars. so i borrowed literally most of that because xrp is like 50 cents right now right for one uh, one xrp is like 50 cents so i borrowed literally all of it <laughs> and then uh and then open price was 43,091.5. Current price is 43,124. So I'm up four cents right now. The problem with that is that the, the realized uh, gain uh, PNL is a uh, is freaking um, three cents. So my commissions was three cents, right? So, and I mean, so now uh, now it's going now, now it's back to break even. So, you know what I mean? So. I, you know, when you're playing with that small of amount, it's just not really, you know, it's too small. Right? It's too small of an amount uh, to play with unless you're maybe going with, like, I don't know, XRP or something like that. Something that's a little bit smaller. So if it moves a little bit more, you can make more money on it. But either way, um, I'm just having fun. It's now, in a, you can see now that it's breaking to a loss right now right because it's now under the price so just having fun it's like 50 cents you know what i mean so so it is what it is um if and the good thing about the margin is that if you if you if you um you know if you get liquidated the liquidated price is forty two thousand seven twelve point five. if you get liquidated you only lose 50 cents that you put in. You don't lose your entire account like other margin plays, right? So that's that's the best. But all these plays I have here are worth maybe like seven, ten dollars, whatever it is, right? And that's all I lose. I don't lose like I don't owe Margex, uh, you know, uh, sixty thousand dollars because you know what I mean. And and I can't do anything until I pay up, right? Because of uh, because of the margin wipe my account out like other places, right? So you guys know other places do that uh they will leave you hot like you you will literally go into your account and it says you still owe us nine thousand dollars you cannot trade until you pay up you know what i mean like <laughs> it sucks right so you get liquidated you'll lose your entire account you know um and you, and you still owe money and you, you can't even trade on there right but here it's isolated margin now they do have cross margin as well but you stick with isolated margin, okay? So here's the cross margin, but you stick with isolated margin, so you only lose what you put in, right? So you put in, you put in uh, fifty cents, one dollar. That's the only thing you're gonna lose is fifty cents, one dollar. All right. So you're having a good time here, and that's, and then they, they also have a referral program. If you want to bring your friends in, and you can make money off of their trades. Uh, you get a commission, forty percent commission off of their trades, and so. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, right? So uh, you can build a team and your families can trade with you. Your boys can trade with you. Your girls can trade with you. You got some girls that trade as well and they can trade underneath you and you can and, and, and you can get commissions from them trading as well. All right. So and then you can use those commissions to, to, to leverage trade and and, uh, and go long. And, and you can also set um, you can also set buy limit orders um, as well. So you can put one dollar. You can have a buy limit order to go 100x on Bitcoin at $1, and just in case a flash crash happens. So that's another good thing about it, right? So you can have your buy limit orders in at $1. You can um, you can have other XRP if it goes down to 10 cents or whatever, 5 cents. You, know, you can also have XRP and, and put it up at, you know, like I have at $15, right? Just in case it explodes up to $15, you know, you can have that as well. Right. So and, and it's on a and it's on a 50 X leverage all of the 15 hours, 144,000 percent gain. Right. So uh, it's just a lot of things you can do. All right. So that's Marjax links in the description. If you want to join, people said currency, do a video on it. And I did a video on it and we're going to end and we're up two percent. But look, the the, the uh, commissions is three cents. So I'm actually in a loss right now. Why one cent? So. Uh, okay, I'm breaking even now, <laughs> you know, uh, the problem is, is that I think I'm in a, I'm, I think I've broken even, but I keep forgetting that there is a sell commission, right? So I'm actually in a loss with my, if they do a sell commission on that, right? So, um, I actually would lose if I did a sell commission there, right? So now, now, now I'm, now I'm looking better. So the sell commission is three cents. I need to be over six cents to, to do it. So now I'm breaking even. So sell commission is probably three cents. Buy commission three cents. I'm broke even right now. Everything else is positive. Look at that trade right now. We're we were back in the, we were up a little bit there at seven cents. We were up one cent. But let's see where this goes. If Bitcoin, I mean, uh, if uh, click there.
if Bitcoin goes to forty nine thousand, then I make uh, then I make a one thousand three hundred and seventy one percent on my on my uh, fifty cents. I don't even know how much that is. How much is that? Is that five bucks? You know, I make yeah, I make over five. I make like six bucks. Right, that's pretty good. Right, it's pretty good for fifty cents. Go from fifty cents to six bucks. Take out the, you know, the three cents commissions and uh, and the six cents commission for buy and sell. I mean, you know, it's pretty good. Six bucks, you know, from fifty cents to six bucks. That's a really good. But Bitcoin has to go up, get all the way up to forty nine thousand, and um, to to make that happen. So, uh, yeah, you know, who knows? Can we get there? Of course we can. But let's see how it plays. It does have an inverted head and shoulders. When will Bitcoin explode to the upside and get there? Maybe this week. I don't know. We'll find out. Peace out. God bless. But that's how you do it. You can see you at your orders here and it tracks your orders for you here. And then you could just click on and you also have uh, active orders, position history. You have a uh, history order uh, history as well. You can click on all these things and have fun. And then they have this funding thing as well. So the rate uh, for longs is blah, 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 blah. The rate for shorts is blah, blah, blah. I don't know really know what this means and what this is all about. So I don't even care about that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. You can see all your accounts here and you can see that, um, there's not a lot of money in there, <laughs> you know, but th these are all tied up and then this is what I have available. So I, I even have, I have a dollar and 48 cents available here, man. So should I go long again on Bitcoin here? Uh, maybe, maybe Bitcoin is about to go short again. Maybe I should go short Bitcoin here. I don't know. Let's go to Solana since everybody's like, whoa. Show us Solana. Okay, let me show you guys Solana before we get out of here. So here's Solana at 96.17. Now, wow, look at Solana go, right? So the so Solana chain is back open again, right? It was down, and so now it's back open again, and everybody's realizing it. So people are pumping Solana back to the upside as they're buying Solana to, 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 to be able to buy the meme coins, right? So everything's being pumped to the upside, as you can see there. So wow, look at Solana go. I should have went long Solana a minute ago, right? But anyways, it is what it is. Let me check my Solana stuff. Wow, I'm up three dollars on like nothing. I don't know how much this. How much two bucks? What was that? I put two bucks in this thing. Yeah, two bucks. I guess I put no. I put one dollar in there. One something. I think. I don't know. No, a hundred x. Yeah, about what two bucks, right? Two bucks. I think it's two bucks, but it says I'm up 138 percent. So if that was two bucks, it would be I'll be up four bucks then. So I'm up 138 percent. So I'm, I had to be like a dollar or something. That's pretty weird. I don't know how they got the calculations on that. So mm, I don't know. Anyways, you can see everything's pumping. I made these good. Uh, these are all good trades. I mean, 139, 100, 195 percent to the upside. Right? That's crazy, right? So I can only imagine if I had put more money into it. But the problem is, is that when you put more money into this thing, you always lose for some reason. Because you're always getting at the wrong time because you're overthinking. Anyways, peace out. God bless. That's how you do Marjex. Links in the description. Uh, I'll post this on my uh, ISO Media channel as well on YouTube and my Patreon. So I'll let you guys see how it, how it plays and how it flows, how it works. Solana blockchain is open. Everybody's getting a word on it. And that's why it's pumping to the upside. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.